Hello and welcome to Streamline Troubleshooting. First step is to take a look at the top right hand corner here and you'll notice that I have two little computer monitors. Now what that represents is that I'm connected to Ethernet. On the LT3 if you actually disconnect your internet it should go over to a screen like this showing that you're not connected to the internet. Uh, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you'll have a picture of a Wi-Fi icon up there. So, uh, next thing is up here on the top left, you'll see the current date and time. If your date and time are not correct, then that means that you are not having a good connection to the internet. So, you would need to check your internet connection and try restarting your router and all that stuff. So, the, uh, the next thing you want to do is power off the box. Now if you have a uh, LT2 or LT3 to power off the box you actually use the remote control that came with the box and you press the red power button on the top left hand corner. You're gonna hold that down for three seconds and then you'll see this power off option. At that point you would press OK on the remote and the box will actually turn off. If you quickly tap the power button, uh, it will actually just go into sleep mode which is not off. When you press the power button again after the box is off, you'll see the Streamline logo. It says Future of TV and then you'll see the little flashy logo and it will take about uh, 30 seconds to a minute for the box to actually turn on. So that's how you know if the box was actually off. If you uh, went into sleep mode, first off, you're not going to see that, uh, that power off option to go into sleep mode. It's just going to turn off the light on the box and the box is asleep. When you press the power button again, it will actually just turn directly back on. So that's the difference there. If you want to restart the box, and it doesn't matter which, which box model you have, uh, all you have to do on a keyboard is press Control alt delete Now, if you have a mini white keyboard or the backlit black keyboard that uh, Streamline sells, on that you can just press the FN key, hold that down, and then tap Enter. And that will actually restart the box. And then you'll see again, Future of TV and the Streamline logo will be flashing. So, you need to do that first. That is the number one step in uh, all troubleshooting. That's going to fix a lot of issues. Uh, after the box is back on, you're going to wait for the uh, logo here to change back to whatever the uh, the current uh, ad icon is. Uh, if it's the LT3, if it's one of the previous models, you just give it a minute. Sometimes it uh, it can take up to two or three minutes, especially if you reset your router or restarted your router. Uh, it can take a few minutes for it to reconnect to the internet. Uh, you will definitely see the uh, time on the top left come back to the correct time and date if uh, if you're connected. So that's uh, that's the number one step. Number two is you come over to the pack loader and if you followed the activation video located at streamlinetv.com forward slash activate then that will actually be here on your main launcher window. So you just click on that and that's going to pull up the pack loader. At this point you're going to have your version and the server version. If those versions don't match that's probably the source of your problems. Uh, if they do match, just go ahead and click install anyways and make sure that you have the clear cache and data option checked because that's going to erase any problems and st start you back from the beginning from a nice fresh pack. Uh, the basic pack uh, or not the basic pack, this is op an option only available on the LT3 and so if you do have the basic pack on, you're not going to have the sports section, you're not going to have news uh, and live TV. So a lot of people will like that because it's just what streaming is good for. Uh, if you do want those extra features, definitely make sure you turn off the basic pack. And then you're just going to hit yes. And that's going to get you up to the most current version. 
if you have this come up, that means that uh, you haven't done this before and you need to make sure that you choose remember choice always or forever and then hit allow. Um, you'll notice that my internet connection is really good and so this download is going very very fast. If your download takes longer than four minutes you're having a problem with your internet connectivity. It could be that your Wi-Fi is not uh, reaching the box well enough and so it's got a slow connection uh, that way or maybe your provider you don't have a, a good enough speed or whatever but this should never take longer than four minutes if it does you're gonna have problems when it comes time to actually watch a movie or a TV show so again the server version up at the top 2017 June 20th you can see so that's how you know what uh, that version number is now at this point you can see the install don't worry about how long the install takes it's the download that matters so if your install takes a while don't worry about it I'm gonna go ahead and go out of this because we don't need to watch that again um, and so now we're gonna move on to the next thing so earlier I talked about putting the box to sleep by quickly tapping the uh, power button that applies to the LT2 and the LT3 uh, you can change your sleep timer uh, by default it's set to 12 hours if you go to settings and then go over to display and then you go over to daydream you can see the default here is set to 12 hours you can change this uh, if you want it to go to sleep sooner or later the power that the box draws is very insignificant uh, but uh, you know after it goes to sleep then it's it's pretty much off but uh, that's how how you do that so if I uh, you want to reset the box and get it back to factory defaults from the launcher window here you go over to settings go over to storage and reset go down to factory data reset factory data reset again and then click on erase everything as soon as you click on erase everything it is going to wipe out the entire box okay so it will erase everything once it has restarted when you see the uh, the streamlined future of TV and the flashing logo going across uh, that's actually restarting and then all of these icons anything that's default or anything that you've added like you can see there's a few things that were added on this one that will be completely totally blank there's nothing that's going to be there the box takes about 15 minutes for it to refresh and uh, finish installing all of the apps and everything get that all up to date so once it restarts you need to leave it alone for about 15 minutes and then you'll notice that those uh, those three default icons which are Google Chrome Gmail and YouTube will all be back and then you would just go back to streamline tv.com forward slash activate follow the activation videos get connected to the internet again because it erased everything and put it back to factory default right uh, and get your pack loader back on here so again that's just settings settings storage and reset factory data reset factory data reset again and then erase everything that's it I hope that uh, solved everything if not definitely go ahead and head over to streamline tv.com and click on the support tab and fill out a support ticket there and someone will get back to you that's the fastest way to get any kind of support and also the most efficient because it's much easier to uh, have us send you directions and maybe show you a video on how to do what the problem is uh, than it is to actually try to figure out what each person is looking at over the phone so happy streamlining